Hey everyone, it's Robin, RS Island Crafts, and welcome back to my studio. I'm gonna call this my Whip It Wednesday video. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get it up for Wednesday. I'm going to try my best to keep it nice and short, so I'm not gonna show you everything that I've been dabbling in during, before, after, whatever with Hurricane Ian. I do wanna give you guys a big squishy hug. Thank you guys so much for all of your love, support, and prayers. Every one of you has just kept me going this past week and a half. By the time you see this video, if it comes up on Wednesday, it'll have been two weeks. And I can't believe it's already been that long. We were without power at this house for eight days and my kids were without power for 11 days. You just work your way through each day and as, as the days pass, you're like, it's been a week, it's been two weeks. It's just really, it's just a strange feeling to be in the middle of all this. I'm going to try to put some pictures on my Patreon page in the in the free for everybody section. So it'll be linked down below. I'll see if I can just go ahead and pop up a post at the top of the description box so that you guys can just click right to the post. Now that's going to be up and available to everybody, whether you're one of my patrons or not. If you're one of my patrons, if I can do any of this stuff, this is all going to be determined on whether or not Verizon on my cell phone allows me to do it. Some days I have zero cell service. I can text sometimes. My kids will text me all day and I won't get any text. Then all of a sudden, you know, eight hours later, they're like, hey mom, why aren't you texting me? Because it's like, I didn't receive any text. So we'll see what happens. If it happens, it'll be there. And if not, it'll be there as soon as possible. There's a lot going on, of course, dealing with everything that's happened. It, they said, if I can, you'll see some of the pictures over there. The My little yellow house doesn't look all that great. And on the surface, while it doesn't look that bad, yes, I am able to stay in this house. I am 100% lucky that the house stood. And even though it needs a new roof, new soffits, it needs the whole wood siding because it's a wood frame house. So it needs a T111 siding or vinyl siding. I need the front door, sliding glass door, garage door. The ceiling in the garage needs to be fixed. All the windows need to be replaced. But none of that really matters because we're all safe, we're all alive, and I can stay in the house. So when I close up all my curtains and I just do what I'm doing here, it's almost like it's a different world because nothing looks different around here. Everything, as you see, it looks exactly the same. I think the only thing different is I'm in a different chair today. But everything looks exactly the same. So it gives you that just a couple minutes to forget what goes on outside until you look out the window or you go out the front door and you're reminded. But it's nice to have that little sanctuary. So I'm very lucky and very blessed. I'm hoping to do some more in-depth videos. I am going to start recording some. I just don't know if I can edit them and upload them and such. But one day, all of a sudden, you'll start seeing regular videos come back. And until then, I'll try to do these. Let me see what time we're at. We're at three minutes. So maybe I'll do these five minute videos real quick just to give you guys something to watch and to remind you that I'm still here and everything is okay. I'm still crafting. I have a bucket of finishes. I have some bins of stuff for the Etsy shop. The Etsy shop will open up as soon as I'm able to either get to the post office to mail things. Right now, everyone who doesn't have a house or doesn't have mailboxes, side note, it's going to be a lot of random things. I apologize if that drives you crazy, but the mail has set it up. Normally, if you don't have a mailbox, they won't deliver your mail. But since everyone, every single house has damage to their mailbox, whether the door is just hanging open or your mailbox is gone, mine is kind of leaning down like this and the door came off. I have my door zip tied on and I put some wedges to hold my mailbox. I need a new mailbox. I'm just gonna wait a little bit before I get one. But if you don't have anything, they said you could just stick an Amazon box and write US mail on it and they'll put your mail in the box. Some people are using like five gallon buckets from Home Depot, those orange ones. They'll just drive by and drop your mail in there, no problem. So everyone's getting mail, which is wonderful. It's those little things that it's nice when things go back together or come back to what they used to be. So I have my electricity. I have, we're off the boil water notice, so we have water that is excellent. We went a couple days without water, then it was just boil water, which is fine because I had my gallons of water and stuff. And just think about some of the things that you do during a day. How many times do you hit the light switch? How many times do I look at the clock in the kitchen on the oven, on the stove? I look at that about a dozen times because I kept looking at it to see what time it was and there was no clock there. I'm going to get a little battery operated clock 
to go in the kitchen so that in the future when the power goes out, our power goes out regularly throughout the summer. So it's always gonna be a small situation. Just hopefully we don't have, I mean, this was a once, once in not even a lifetime, the governor said it's a 500 year storm. So we've never had a storm like this. I've been here 40 years. We've never had anything even close to this. But here is my little project to show you guys. A few years ago, someone sent me a Wooly Folk Snow Flurry. It's a six by eight mini wool quiltlet by Melissa Young and Karen Fahel from Crazy Folk. Just trying to get it out of the package. So this is the pattern if you guys want to check it out. This is from 1998, so I don't know if it exists. But when I show you, you can pretty well get an idea of how to make it yourself. You're supposed to put this on a piece of regular fabric. I have it on fusible fleece. It's not fused because I didn't have any power. But you put your black piece down and you lay this wool here and then you just make can you barely see those blue X's? They weren't meant to stand out a lot, so I kept mine relatively non-bright blue. I did have some pretty blues I could have used, but I wanted to stick with the folksy look of this. So I went with more of a basic, like a royal blue color. So then you put X's to hold it all together. It's not hand sewn and opened up like we do with our quilt blocks or anything. And I couldn't get it to do that. I was looking for projects that are brainless so it wasn't too hard. I, I couldn't read a book. I read Harry Potter, but I've read it a million times or at least two dozen times. So I wanted to have something that I didn't have to think about. I couldn't knit on socks. I couldn't do a lot because the brain was just too full and too stressed out. So I worked on this and I thought that turned out really, really cute. It's still, again, it needs to be given a good press, trimmed up they have you putting a backing on it and binding. I'm not sure if I want binding. I think I might just do the, put the piece on the front right sides together and flip it around, but it is so cute. He has the little red gloves. That gives you close to the color of at least a snowman. The blues and stuff are just a bit darker, but he's so cute. And there's my messy back. So again, thank you guys so much for keeping my channel going, watching my videos, liking them, leaving comments, letting your cats and dogs watch the videos in the playlist. I thought that was so cute and so funny when I saw that. And actually, it's not the first time I've heard it. I've heard from many people that younger kids, kids with some of them, maybe some autistic children I know of, they actually enjoy listening to my voice. It calms them or something. So they watch my videos, even though they're six years old and they're not sewing or anything, they actually enjoy the bright colors all the way around me and stuff like that. So that's fun. Cats and dogs I've heard before enjoy it. And several of you actually put on my videos for when you're going to sleep at night, it helps you fall asleep. So that's really great. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it and saw some of the older videos that you may not have seen. There's over 800 videos. I've been doing this for over five years and you're right. It has changed over time, the way I do it, the way I sound. I'm very allergy sound and all the time in my ear. So it does sound different in the beginning. I just talked with my normal Southern drawl and I kept my videos like this. And then I started to realize that it takes forever to watch a video if you're going to talk that slow and you're constantly going, all right, woman, speed it up a little. So now I just go ahead and let a rapid conversation go and I just bring my voice a little bit quicker so that you guys can put me on sped up on the videos also, or just listen to me going kind of rapid fire like this. We've changed how we do things. I have started out in my bedroom against a white louver door. Then I moved into other areas. And now I think I've had three or four different setups just in this room alone. But my timer just went past 11 minutes and I still need to edit this. And I wanna shorten it up a little bit. So again, thank you guys so much for all of your love and support and for keeping everything going and for just everything you've done. And I will be back as soon as I can. And until then, I will try to at least put up little snippets each week of, hey, how you doing? This is what I worked on. I have a lot to show you. Talk to you guys later. Bye.